Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wasi here and in this video I am going to show you how you can add captions to your videos on your iPhone for free just like the one that you are seeing right here. So let's begin the video. First of all you are going to open the app store and you are going to search for the app Weed captions for videos and you are going to download this free app. Once the app has been installed, you are going to open the Weed Captions and if it asks for access to your microphone or camera, allow it. Here you can see it has an add button. Just press on the add button and now you have two options. So basically you can choose a video from your photos app if you already recorded it or if you want to record a video now, you can press on the record button. I already have a video in my photos gallery, so I'm going to press on choose video. You're going to select the video on which you want to add captions. And now an option pops up auto caption this video. So the video was recorded in English language. So the language I'm going to select is English. But if you have recorded the video in any other language or if you want to have subtitles in any other language, you can select from the list here. I'm going to stick with English. Press on add captions. So now what it is going to do is that it's going to use AI to generate captions for this video. This is quite easy and simple as if you do this on Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro then it is possible but it takes a lot of time and effort and if you're going to make it for TikToks or YouTube Shorts then this app is worth it. Here you can see it's showing a preview of the captions but they are quite simple. The first thing that you might want to do that there may be some spelling mistakes or something like that. So you're just simply going to pause the video. You're going to select the text and you can change the text whatever you want. So I'm just simply writing an example here. After that you can just play the video again. The other thing you're going to note that the video is quite simple like there is not much to the uh, subtitles or captions. You're going to press on the styles button. And here you can select different styles. So you have a couple of styles available which will do your trick. I'm going to select this one. After that you got animations as well. So we're going to select this animation because it looks quite cool. However, you have a lot of different animations as well. If you go to position, you can select that if you want in default, bottom or center. After that you have these other color options as well which you can change. So you almost have full control in animations and all these other good stuff so now if i play the video again you can see something like that and you can just simply press on the text and change its position you can also enlarge it just by uh, uh, pulling it with your two fingers and i like to place the captions somewhere right here because in this way your tiktok or youtube description is not overlapping your captions so if you're happy with your changes you're going to pause it you're going to press on this little tick button on the top right side now on the bottom it's going to have a share button press on the share button and now it's going to export your video and save it onto your iphone gallery and from here you're just simply going to press on save video you're going to allow access to gallery we're not going to read it now and now the video is saved to your gallery so you can see that how fast and quick and easy it is to do with this captions app and also you're not going to have any kind of watermark on your video since this app is totally free. Here's one light that every content creator should have. On the back you got a power button. You can see that the caption video is more interesting and engaging so you should have them in your videos. There are two flaws or downsides with this app which the team should fix. First of all you can see that you can edit your text but you do not have the ability to change the text position in the timeline view like here in CapCut you can see I can elongate or increase the duration of the text and decrease it whereas in this app you don't have that ability. Second thing is that which occurred with me that if I upload a video that is longer than two minutes usually I get an error message that captions could not be generated. So this is another bug that may come or may not. So if you guys like this video like share subscribe if you have any other questions write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so. Other than that thank you for watching and as always stay safe.